tonight. You can ask us anything, and folks are asking us anything. They are. Uh, they're waiting on the line for us, and we're going to start with Martha from Center Point. Martha, understand that you have a question for us tonight. Go right ahead. Yes, I was calling to get your advice on a case that I was involved with. In 2013, I was charged with a larceny case, and we've been going back and forth to court ever since then. And then in July, the last time I went to court, I was told I would be brought back one more time in September for them to drop all charges against me. I was never given the opportunity to tell my side of the story, um, to let them know that I knew the person that had done this, and I was um, n never got to tell my side of the story, what happened or anything, and now they're dropping all charges and they would not give me a reason why they're dropping charges. And I would just like to know what my rights are. Mm -hmm. Wow. So it sounds like she was charged, but they're dropping mm -hmm. the charges. Yes. Right. Um, I mean, I think that that's probably what you want to happen. Sure. Um, you know, unfortunately, sometimes there may be an issue of not enough evidence, right, or just some technical things. Mm -hmm. But, you know, hopefully that was something that your lawyer, I would hope at all of these stages of the process would have explained, you know, what was going on or why there may not be charges brought against you if they're able to find out that information. Um, but if they're dropping the charges, then, you know, that should hopefully make you free and clear. So that's something you won't have to endure anymore. You know, I know some people are, you know, upset just that it takes a lot of their time. Mm -hmm. 2013 is a long time to be going yes. back and forth mm -hmm. with something time. like this. So, I mean, it's great that they're dropping the charges and you might not want to know, you know, just to kind of, let that be, but you know, I, I really wouldn't be able to um, understand more unless I find out a little bit more about that case. A couple of questions on that, Joy. Um, one is, uh, Martha was saying that she thought she had information about who actually did it. Okay. Sh should she share that with the prosecutor? Or does that draw her back into this mm -hmm. web of problems? Well, I mean, you know, that's gonna be uh, at her comfort level, okay. right? I, I think that that's really important also because we also don't know if this might be someone that she knows personally mm -hmm. or a family member mm -hmm. and, you know, things could be complicated that way in her life. Right. Um, but also if it's something that um, the person that is the victim um, is trying to pursue and still wants justice for as well. So I think there are a couple of other factors, you know, if the good thing to do, of course, we always want to cooperate with the police, sure. right? Because we always want to help just to eliminate as much um, negativity and create harmony as much as we can. Um, but sometimes you have to, you know, weigh it out and figure out what's best for you. And it's the expungement law that's not too awfully old. Yeah. Martha may want to consider Absolutely. retaining a lawyer to help her with that. Right, uh, we have a they were dropped, yeah. Uh, yeah, can get that, Martha, you can, we have some expungement laws in Alabama. They're fairly new. They are. Uh, as I understand you. And uh, you may want to talk with your lawyer or with an, another lawyer about getting your record expunged once those once those charges are dropped. Right, because just because they're dismissed, it doesn't mean that they you're won't show up. Record. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. 